how to make or how I made this cocktail smoker. Let's get into it. I started by squaring a piece of curly cherry. Then cut it down to four equal four and an eighth inch pieces. laminated them together into a turning blank. Once the glue cured, I used a square to mark center on either face. Then placed it between the headstock and the tailstock and began rounding over the sharp edges until the blank was cylindrical. I could have used the table saw to cut away more of the corners before mounting it to the lathe, but I just felt like turning. With the cylinder roughed out, I used the table saw and crosscut sled to cut the smoker down to size as a test cut for cutting the lid away from the smoker. After that, I mounted the lid to the spindle and turned a slight lip to sit inside the smoker. Then sanded it down. Next, I anchored the smoker to the spindle and carved out the chamber that would hold the wood chips. With that complete, I removed it from the spindle and repositioned the smoker between the headstock and the tailstock and got to work turning the chimney. While I get ready to sand it down, let me invite you to check out more behind the scenes content over on Patreon, link in the description below. Once sanded, I pre-drilled the center point for the chimney, then used a one and an eighth inch Forstner bit to hollow it out, making sure to drill from either end to avoid tear out. I'll save those for later. With that done, I used a quarter inch Forstner to drill across the chimney to allow for better smoke collection within the glass. Then, use an orbital sander to tidy up the top of the lid not previously sanded while on the lathe. And finish it off with a food safe butcher block oil.
Once the oil dried, I cut a piece of mesh to fit inside the smoker to act as a debris catch and hold the wood chips that would be used to create the smoke. I sanded down any sharp edges. And that's a wrap. As an aside, if you're in the market for an American-made, milled-to-perfection shaker that is also hefty enough to take out an unruly bar patron, my good friends over at C&D Tools have the right one for you. I'll leave you a link below. Cheers. Until next time.